this is Ben from LearnToPhoto.com, and uh, here today to review the Voigtlander R3M. Uh, it's Voigtlander's all-mechanical rangefinder camera. They have a couple versions of this. Uh, they have an R2M, which is the same exact camera except for it uses 35, 90, 50, and 75 millimeter frame lines. The R3M uses a 40 millimeter one-to-one -one viewfinder plus 90, 50, and 75. I opted for the one-to-one. -one. Uh, so shooting with one, if both eyes open is, you know painless because it's exactly the way I would see anyway. So that works really nicely and I like to shoot with both eyes open if possible. The camera itself is very high quality build, um, especially for the price. Um, it's the lowest cost out of the three major rangefinder camera makers, uh, the other two being Zeiss and Leica. Um, Zeiss makes the Zeiss Icon, uh, which is a nice camera, actually very nice, but it's all electronic and they do not make a all mechanical version. Like it does have a mechanical version, like a MP, uh, actually never have used it, I haven't had the privilege as of yet, I'm hoping to soon, but uh, this is, you know, heard it was heard it's excellent, but it's also significantly more expensive than this camera here. Uh, Voigtlander R3M runs about six hundred dollars. I think a Leica runs about five thousand dollars, maybe forty five hundred. So significant difference still. Um, like I said, this camera is an excellent uh, camera, very well made, uh, very smooth film wind, uh, film uh, advance. Excuse me. Um, Nice all around. Shutter dial has very positive clicks, very easy to turn, but not so easy that you accidentally can turn it. So I, I like that a lot. Uh, what I really like is this, uh, the rubber grip with the little raised area here. Um, it's great for, feels comfortable shooting, but also my favorite part is I do street shooting a lot, and carrying it uh, flat can get a little tired on your wrist. This lets me kind of just grab it like this and hang it from my thumb. Gives me something else to grab on, makes things a little bit more comfortable after a few hours of holding it. So that is nice. Um, right here you got the 40 and 90, 50 and 75 frame lines. They are adjusted manually via the switch. They do not come up uh, when you put the lens on, which some people really don't like. I don't see it as a big issue. Um, just don't forget. It's very difficult to forget um, because the 40 and 50 are the only ones that are even that close and the 40 always has the 90 millimeter frame lines in the center. So as long as you remember that, you'll have no issues. I've never accidentally left it there uh, one way or another. This is the uh, well, my best effort in showing you the viewfinder of the R3M. It's a pretty bright viewfinder. Uh, solid frame lines. The 40 millimeter on the outside, 90 in the middle. Uh, you have the 50 right there and the 75 right there. So you have to flip them manually, uh, but otherwise it's fine. Just don't forget to change it, but you should notice pretty quickly, I would think. Um, right here, you'll see at the bottom screen this little red negative 2 and the dot. It's not that easy to see in this, but that's the exposure meter. Uh, as you change the aperture and shutter speed and things of that nature, it will uh, line up to create one single dot without any blinking. That's when you know you're fully exposed. If it's at the plus two on the other side of that dot, uh, you're overexposed right there. We're saying it was underexposed because I have the lens cap on. The shutter speed goes from two thousandths of a second all the way down to one full second, which is really nice. Um, one two thousandth of a second is the fastest I have ever seen on a all mechanical rangefinder camera. Um, there may be one out there just as fast or faster, but I haven't seen it. Um, that is really fast for no battery needed. Uh, it's great for higher speed lenses. Uh, you get an extra stop in there, which works out really well sometimes for me, especially I have the 40mm uh, Nocton 1.4 SC lens on here, and it goes down to 1.4, and sometimes I need that one thousand of a second if I want to shoot wide open. Uh, look for this lens review, by the way, on the site at learnphoto.com. Um, anything else this camera? Oh yeah, the best thing about this camera, or one of the best things, is you cannot accidentally open the film door. Uh, if you try to pull up the film winder here, it won't happen. There is a little lever right here that if you move, then the door will swing open. Then you can put the film in, get your film out, whatever you need, and close the door right back up, pop that back down, and it's not going anywhere. That is really nice. Uh, should be foolproof. Uh, the, you know, unfortunately, I'm an idiot, so I actually have uh, opened this door accidentally, um, which is pretty much amazing. I don't know what happened. I wasn't paying attention to what was, what was going on, and I just was fiddling with it and managed to open the door. I did not ruin the film, luckily. It only opened, uh, well, it didn't shoot out like that. got to about there and didn't let a lot out, and I immediately realized what I did and closed it back up. Luckily, it was also ISO 50 film, so it wasn't insanely light sensitive. Um, 
so there were nothing you know none of the shots were ruined luckily um, but other than that that's Voigtlander R3M for a more detailed review and any other uh, issues about this camera or the lens attached to it please visit learn to photo .com.